What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Chrissy Mack, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is, I made it to one month. Hey, hey. You guys, I got a kidney transplant one month ago, and I'm so surprised about how I feel. Everything's going great in my life, and I'm just so excited for the future now. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about what to expect in your first month after receiving a kidney transplant. So the first thing is the pain. Now the pain is not as bad as it was when you originally got it, but you're still gonna feel the pain by the incision. So the cut is about, you know, this long from your side going towards your belly button area, probably a little lower than that, but it's such a long cut and it's so deep in that it's gonna take a while for it to heal. That is where my biggest pain comes from. Nothing else really hurts. From the transplant, it's just where the incision was made. In the beginning, when I was feeling a lot of the pain from the incision, I would just use Tyranol Extra Strength. It helped me relieve that pain at that time. That is the best thing I can say, just so you're not on a lot of narcotics. I didn't want anything to have me constipated. I didn't want any issues. I didn't want to get addicted to that. So I just took Tyranol and that helped me after I left the hospital. So the second thing is just preparing yourself to take the medications. We are going to have to take tons of medications in the beginning after getting that kidney transplant. You have your rejection meds. Some people may even have high blood pressure pills that they're taking, infusion that you have to get done at the hospital. So there's lots of medications that you're gonna be taking. And with taking medications, sometimes there's side effects. You can get diarrhea, you might feel upset, you might not be feeling good some days. So just prepare yourself for that, but it's going to help. It's gonna help us live a little bit longer than without getting that kidney transplant. So make sure that you're taking your medications on time. So the third thing that you're gonna experience in your first month of receiving a kidney transplant is your water intake. You are going to be taking in a lot of water because you're taking so much medications and you need to flush out those toxins out of your body and just need to keep your body hydrated so everything else can work properly. As you're drinking your water, you're also going to be peeing a lot. Sometimes I drink so much water, I don't even, I don't even know if it balances out because I pee so much in the middle of the night, during the day, and this is something that I'm not used to because being on dialysis, I really didn't have a lot of urine output. So now that I'm taking in a lot of water and I'm trying to flush my body and keep my new kidney healthy, I am peeing so much. So be prepared for that because no one ever told me as soon as I got my kidney transplant, I'll be filling up bags and bags and bags of urine. But it's a good thing. So just prepare yourself for that water consumption that you're going to have to take. The fourth thing that you're going to notice is that you're going to have lots of doctor's appointments. For the first couple of weeks, you're going to be going to the doctor's office minimum twice a week. And that is to get some labs done because they need to be tracking what's going on. You don't want anything to happen too late and now you lost your kidney. So they do that because they just want to monitor you, make sure that your body's adjusting to the medications. And then the doctor sees you on another day as well because he wants to check the incision site. He wants to make sure that, you know, there's no side effects happening from taking all of those meds. So it's very important that we go to all of our appointments that are scheduled. At my hospital, they don't even give me an option of the time that I'm coming in. They just tell you, here's your schedule, and they try to even book you out a year in advance. So you'll get all your schedules. So if you're working or you have other priorities, you know what time you have to be at the hospital. And for me, I have early early appointments like seven o'clock in the morning and my hospital is not close to my house it's about an hour drive with traffic and everything going on sometimes even two hours if it's a crazy morning you guys know how atlanta is it's bumper to bumper especially on a monday morning where my appointments just happen to fall on a monday morning lots of doctor's appointments lots of blood work um, I got to the point where it was getting too much for me, so now I go to one of the local labs in my area and I get my labs drawn there, and then I'll go to the hospital to see the doctor and to get my infusion done. So just prepare yourself. I have a calendar um, that I bought from Target. I put in all my dates early so I know how to plan my life. 
There's also another a surgery that you're gonna have to do, which I'll talk about in a different video, is removing the stent that they put in to your bladder. Um, so that is coming up soon for me. Within the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing that. That usually gets taken out about four to six weeks after your transplant. And the fifth thing that you are going to need within your first month is rest, guys. And I know I'm like the worst person to talk about it because I'm here doing videos and I'm not in my bed resting, but I do rest. If I'm tired, I take a moment and I lie down and I sleep. And I got this from a different transplant patient. She was like, listen, you have to take your time. And I'm listening from other people's mistakes. I know a lot of people that has gotten infections, people that just weren't feeling good because they were trying to do too much. I'm home, I'm not going out into the public yet. The only place that I go to is my doctor's appointments. And that is it for right now. Because in the beginning stages, you are vulnerable and you don't want to lose your kidney. You don't want to get an infection. You don't want to get sick. So I try to stay indoors. Anybody that comes to my house, they have to make sure that they're not sick, they're healthy. My kids wash their hands before they come and see me when they come from school. I just make sure that I take good care of my body and my area around me. But resting is so important. Just take 30 minutes, an hour in your day, if it's on your lunch break or if you're just home. Right now, first of all, if you're in the beginning of a transplant, you should be home relaxing and resting. You should not be jumping up and getting back into work if you're working at an establishment. If you're home in your house like me, then it's fine. But just take the time to rest, guys. That is the biggest tip that I can give you guys for those five tips today. If those five tips helped you today, please drop a comment below and let me know. So just to talk about what's been going on with me personally, those were my tips for you guys. But right now, since my first month of getting a transplant, I feel so much energy. I am like wanting to do everything. I want to touch everything. I want to go every place even though I can't go anywhere right now. But I'm just full of energy. I want to do so much. My family says they see that increase of energy with me because I'm playing more with my kids. We're playing basketball, little basketball. Remember guys, I told you that in the other video, not the real ball. But I have a two-year-old and I have a nine-year-old. So they're so excited just to have me back. And so they just want to play. They want to wrestle. They want to just kiss up on mommy, hold me. And I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited about just being able to spend that quality time with my family. My appetite has increased. So I'm eating more. So my mom was here helping me in the beginning. So she used to bring me breakfast every morning, lunch, dinner, make sure that I eat because... Right now, I'm in my resting stage and I'm taking advantage of that. So now my mother-in-law's here and she is making sure I pack on these pounds. Because I lost so much weight in a hospital, we gotta make sure I eat properly. Calling me, telling me take a break from making my videos or whatever I'm doing and come and eat. Just now I just went and I had a sandwich. They're cooking dinner. So my appetite is much better. It's increasing a little bit more and I'm putting on a few pounds here and there. But my goal, guys, is to put on, I know this is going to sound bad because some people want to lose weight, but I want to put on about 30 pounds because I have lost everything. I have no butt, no chest, nothing. I need some weight, but I want to stay fit as I do that. I am so much more motivated than ever before. I have a second chance at life guys. So I want to make the best out of this. I want to travel the world. I want to thrive in my business. I want to continue to show people that you can do it as well too. I'm so motivated and pumped up about life right now and I don't think anything can stop me. Now that I have this new kidney, it's up to me to make life what I want to make it on my terms. So now that I have a second chance, I am running with it. So if you guys are excited for me just as I'm excited for myself, I want you guys to like my video and don't forget to subscribe. You might even know someone that can benefit from watching this video. Share it with them. Let them know these tips, what it feels like to get a kidney transplant. And I'm at the one month mark. Yay. Thank you guys for watching my video and I love you.